Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Waggett's math class again. Today we will be discussing similar figures and decide how can we conclude that two figures are similar. Look at this triangle. Is it similar to that trapezoid? No, because they are not similar in any way. No, not the shape, not the size. They are not the same thing. So how can you decide if two figures are similar? Look at the blue triangle. Do you think the purple triangle or the red triangle are similar to the blue triangle? The purple one is congruent to the blue one because they are exact copy, same side, same size, same shape. But the red one is bigger than the blue one, but it's still a triangle. So the blue one and the red one are similar triangles because they have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So I need you guys to look at this picture, and that's my graduation picture. If I increase the length only, do I look similar to the original picture? No, I look distorted because I'm way too long. What if I increase the width only? Do I look similar? No, because I look fat, not exactly the same. But if I increase the length and the width, do I look similar? Yes, because it looks proportional to the original picture. I'm not too long, I'm not too fat, I'm the same thing. It's just increase or enlarge that picture. So it does look proportional. Now we need to decide what makes two figures similar? I wanted you first to look at this uh, red square and the blue square. Each one has a length and a width of two, which makes them same shape, same size, so they are congruent. Now I need to increase the width by two and see what happens. Are they congruent? No, they're not the same shape, same size. Are they similar? No, they're not the same shape. This is a square and this is a rectangle. So what makes it similar is we need to increase the width and the length. So I need to increase the length too by one unit. Now they all similar. The red square and the blue squares are similar because they have the same shape, not necessarily the same size. But how can you mathematically make sure that they are similar. Corresponding sides has to be proportional. So what does proportional mean? Proportional means equal ratio. And the ratio means comparing two things. Now set up your ratio, big to small. So we're comparing side length to side length and the width to width. So the length, of the big tri uh, square is three, and the length of the uh, red square is two, so three over two. The width of the big square is three, and the width is two, so width to width is three over two. Now simplify that, gives you 1.5 equals 1.5, which means the sides are proportional, those are equal ratios, and also it means that the big square is 1.5 times bigger than the small square. So how can you conclude two figures are similar? First of all, all angles has to, all corresponding angles has to be congruent and all corresponding side lengths has to be proportional. So in math, similar has a symbol, which is that wiggly line right there, that in red, that symbol indicates similar. So look at this triangle, ABC, and triangle DEF. Name the corresponding angles. Are they congruent? Angle A is congruent to angle D, angle B is congruent to angle E, and angle C is congruent to angle F. It's given by the number of angle semicircles. And 
Now, corresponding side lengths, are they proportional, which means set up your ratio for corresponding sides. In the corresponding sides, AB corresponds with DE. Is it equal to the side AC that corresponds with DF? And BC corresponds with EF. If those ratios are equal, then the triangle DEF is similar to triangle ABC. Now let's see this example. Tell whether the two figures are similar. You got two triangles. From the number of semicircle that indicates the angle, I know which angles congruent to which angle. All corresponding angles are congruent. Is that true? Yes, and I can tell from the number of semi dashes. All corresponding side lengths, are they proportional? We don't know, let's find out. And the only way to find out is to set up your ratio. That's what proportion means. So set up your ratio, big to small. By the way, you can set it up small to big, it doesn't matter, but stick to it. So if you choose big to small, side nine corresponds with side six. So the length nine divided by six, does it equal 12 over eight? Does it equal six over four? Nine divided by six is 1.5, and 12 divided by eight is 1.5, and 6 divided by 4 is also 1.5, so they are equal ratios. That means the side lengths are proportional. Therefore, I can conclude the triangles are similar because all corresponding angles are congruent and all side lengths are proportional. Now we're trying to find the missing side of a figure using similar property. The figures are similar, find x. Those two rectangles are similar, which means the side lengths are proportional. So set up your ratio, which is a fraction, and what do you want it to compare, small to big or big to small? It does not matter, just stick to whatever you decide. So what I'm going to decide the first time is small to big. That's how I wanted to set my ratio. So I need side to side 8 to 20 are corresponding sides, so 8 divided by 20 doesn't equal 6 small 2x big, 6 2x. Now to solve for x, cross multiply because it's an equal ratios. So 20 times 6 is 120, does it equal 8 times x, which is 8x. Now since you're multiplying, Divide by 8, divide by 8, 8 divided by 8 is 1, x equal 120 divided by 8 is 15, so x equal 15. Let's move on to the next one. They are similar because all corresponding angles are congruent and all corresponding sides are proportional. I know the corresponding angles are congruent because of the two dashes here, two dashes here, one dash here, one dash here, that means they all congruent. Now set up your ratio because the side lengths are proportional. This time I am going to set my ratio big to small. So write big to small. Make sure to use the big side on the denominator and the small side on the denominator all the time. So the 15 corresponds with x. Does it equal 9? Go back to the big side, 9 to 4 are those equal ratios. So cross multiply since it's a proportion. 15 times 4 and 15 times 4 equals 60. Does it equal 9 times x, which is 9x? 9 times x, the inverse operation is divide by 9, divide by 9. So x equals 6.66. I'm gonna uh, I am going to Round to the nearest tenth place. I will underline the tenth place. Look at the hundredth place. If it's five and up, then the tenth place goes up once. So x equal 6.7, and that's your answer. Now remember, we set up ratio to compare things. So I can compare small to big, like we said with the first one. And if I divide the corresponding side, like 8 divided by 20, 8 divided by 20, that gives you 0 0.4, which means this small 
rectangles is 0.4 than the big rectangle. Now, this one, we set up the ratio big to small, which means we compare the big one to the small one. So if I set up big to small and I take the side big to small, 15 divided by 6.7, or let's use 9 divided by 4, and 9 divided by 4 is 2.25 which means the big figure is 2.25 times bigger than the small one. And that's how you can find out how many times bigger a figure than the other one. Compare them by using the ratio. Now here's the last example for today. A person standing 20 feet from a street light casts a shadow as shown. How many times taller is the street light than the person? How many times the street light taller than the person? Assume the triangles are similar. For you to know how many times taller, set up your ratio. And since I have similar figures, can you see the triangles? If not, draw the first triangle, which is the person. That's six feet. And his shadow is 10 feet. And the second triangle, which he stands 20 feet away, which means the bigger triangle, which is the street pole, and that's what I'm trying to find, which is the X. And the bottom side is not 20. You have to add 10 to it to make that full right triangle. So 20 plus 10 equals 30. Now I can set up my ratio big to small and find the missing side. You can say, you, actually you can do it two different ways. Do I have one side? Do I have one side? Yes. Those sides, corresponding sides, I know what they are. So all you need is one side of similar figures to know how many times taller. 30, set up your ratio big to small and the side this side is for the big triangle is 3 30 and this side is 10. How 30 divided by 10 is 3. That means each side is three times bigger. Which means this street pole is three times taller than the person. If each side is three times bigger, so how tall is the street light? And the street light is the x. Since this side is three times bigger than this one, 10 times 3 is 30. And the height of the person is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. So x equal 18. That's the height of the street pole or the street light. That's it for today's lesson. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.